Oh, this this could be nice, actually. Kim baiting them in a lot. Cinnamon spraying away, but it's oh Smurfette God. that has the off angle to come out from pizza. They're not expecting a third player there. Now they've run into Glance, but although she isn't able to catch them on the cross, oh, Kim please. sure is. Get off to her tear in this pistol round. Exactly what you want to see of her. The tag up on Petra. Knowing exactly where Zaz is, this round is almost a foregone conclusion. Remaining. There's 44 HP left in this 1v4. And a nice, easy clean up for Gil. There you go. One for one trades. Okay, she did manage to get that last one, but it's still, it's three players alive. Vets realizing that, so she'll give that up. Yeah, and no, all this two previous oh, one. Oh, what? Well, well, okay, Zaz. They're dedicating the Rolling Thunder to it. Smurfette has to run for her life. She's being pursued heavily, and she's gotten away with it. Her teammate falls, but the trades are there and heavily in favor of Guild with weapons dropped. This is an ideal third round for them. I, I There's so many things to say about the Rolling Thunder and the, how is it so good and so bad at the same time. <laughs> Mimi here has an amazing shot. Oh, and those is, duels. This is so nice. Oh no, they've checked it as they came around. Both corners cleared, double swinging it. Very conscious of that lurk play. Now two players extra for Guild, rifles in their hands, and a perfect flash I, I, I don't think was intended to hit Silly, but it did. And that leaves Guild with a third round now. And we already talked about how stacked their economy was, Kakuka. That was, uh, I was assuming they would lose this round. Yeah, and now they won. They got the rifles. They got the free upgrade for themselves. And it goes... Crunch, look at the position of Giuliano. She's going to catch them off guard if Smurfette leaves any of them alive. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, that wasn't the engagement that Glance wanted. Yeah, I was kind of scared of, of Juliana's position because even though she was playing for market, uh, Cinnamon was extremely close. Kim is going to fall against Sealy. And yeah, this should be the first round for G2 that actually needed to take their time. I think they're reading into what Guild is proposing and, and just reading be like, okay, you want to turn that early aggression? We're just going to back off. We're going to back off when you use all that and you decide to, you know, uh, run back. It's, that is when we're going to take... Uh, Matters into action. Yeah, I think ultimately, you know, you're playing with a player in spawn. As soon as that gets smoked off or a player crosses over, you, you're in kind of panic stations and trying to move back in towards market and, and self set up for a, a nice, comfortable plant, one would imagine. Especially with that cosmic divide. Uh, there's very little that uh, guild can do to fight back into this. Just got to wait it out, more or less. Maybe leer and drop. Uh, oh, that's nasty. Okay, Roxy will survive. Oh, if that orb would have fallen one second earlier would have done so much the plant is barely going down is Jita going to have enough time to get their positions for the post plant looks like they are oh yeah the little updraft play Mimi's already been dropped Petra spotted towards the back of generator and Smurfette is on the case but she's ran out of ammo luckily her teammates saved the day down go the cloud bursts but nobody's defusing just yet they need to find these kills two players towards main and that is planted perfectly for them it's prime real estate that guild need to take back. That's slow. Onto Smurfette doesn't last too long. The grab while pulling them off the defuse, though. That's the whole point. Now it gets to halfway as they go in for the swing. And, well, that is a cleanup by Silly. That put two on the board for G2. Much, much less likely. And Giuliano didn't manage to sneak by that drone, I don't believe. It seemed like it spotted her. Yep. <gasps> Maybe I'm no. wrong, though. No. That is a, an ambitious spot <laughs> to put down those stars from Kim. And Giuliano will obviously punish it. It's like the third round that Juliana is going for this position and she hasn't been really punished, but it's something the Gil should take into accountability. I mean, they know that she's been playing there. Smurfette is going to rotate now and that operator is going to probably turn out to A with the action is coming in. Awkward start for Cinnamon. She'll only get the first. The plan can easily be found on the back of this G2. Have a rolling thunder to play with. And although it hasn't always worked for them or for anyone, it can be a little inconsistent. At least looking at that site, you can stop them from diffusing. It's that extra little kind of grav well or whatever, especially now that we don't have Silly to play with. Guilt. Oh, into a crossfire. Good night, sweet dreams. That's not as clean as it should have been because now Mimi's fallen. Giuliano and Zaz forced into this late round and with the door closed, they might rolling thunder this just to guarantee she's not diffusing. Nah. It has been spotted by Zaz though. She peeked out, saw the corner and ahead. wins the fight easily. Three rounds. Yeah, Freelance is a really a tough position, but ultimate and find the first kill, it should be enough to grab them security on this round. Dashing past the Nano Swarm, Giuliano really wanted the fight. And even with the weaker weapon of the Guardian, Roxy comes out on top with a clean, connected headshot. The Hunter's Fury won't find much. Again, a, l a little bit of a panic 
Assuming that there would be a B rush, I assume. And after it doesn't connect, Guild will slow down the round yet again. So not only slowing the round, they, they're managing to go back to having all that yeah. control over mid. That is probably, you know, one of their weak spots if Giuliano find, find, found her position there. Now that that is not happening, of course, everything is slowed down. Spike is down. And they, do, they only have to wait. Little by little, just using the utility. Time it out perfectly. Cinnamon also making sure that nobody's pushing out. <clears throat> As steps were heard, Kim falling back. Making a lot of noise, and Mimi's going to be looking for her now on the generator. That's the first fight, wow. but Kim comes out on top even with a bulldog. These weaker weapons for Guild. I, I was critical of them when I saw them, and yet they're having left. a lot of success. A good attempt by Smurfette, the one-tap dash. And this is obviously, they have the, the player advantage. There's no need for them to play over aggressive and give a duel. Now, is Petra going to have enough time to actually Spike rotate and play for that post -punk? Can she be sure that she's safe enough to just wait for the Hunter's Fury? Not really sure about Zaz. Play with Zilla here. That flash going in. No one follows up on it. The lockdown is going to be destroyed, but so is Zaz. Eliminated running to the site. Petra, now the final bastion of defense, trying to stop them from making this defuse happen. She's already found a triple kill, and the player on the spike goes out to save the day. Glance gets away with it, but a damn good effort by Petra. Petra again just giving up. No, I, I agree. It's definitely a risky play. I doubt we'll see much more of it. And they're creeping up through short. Giuliano's double okay, opening. Okay, Giuliano, we get it. <laughs> it's just filthy. And I think this is very much why she's feeling that confident to try some of those more ludicrous plays because she's been having success a lot in this series. There's a good trade back by Cinnamon, at least. I don't know that this makes it doable for them. Not when you're playing against the Hunter's Fury. It's just a cherry on top for the defensive side. For the attacking side, sorry. But Cinnamon has found another, and now they'll definitely be going for it. There's a lot to clear. She knows that she has to move. She has the timing now. And they spotted that at least one player is playing under. No. Petra, though. It's Just Petra. Petra. <laughs> Just Petra. I don't know what it, I don't know what she's eating for market is actually clear. Even still, okay. All that right. is, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, the way that she broke the time in there, being like, yeah, I'm not going to be aggressive, and then I'm going to be, I'm going to eat up that space. And G2 playing so standard that they forgot completely about what's coming in from A, being so self-centered and, you know, being thinking about just going in from short. I think that's a big advantage. The fact that Guild played so passive on B and so passive on mid, they gave them all that control because they're buying time. So all these players push forward left. and seize the control. Smurfette gets the flank, but now she's being caught off, looking the other way, worried about main. The plant can now come through G2, have control over this site. And every time they've planted here, it's left Guild in a really, really tough spot getting back in. The upside, though, they mm. do have a cosmic divide to work with this exactly. time. Exactly. That is very different. Now, if Kim manages to find the first kill here, or even use it now, yeah, for the go. Oh, this could be Rolling Thunder, actually. Zaz has it available if she wants to deploy it. And oh yeah, she's going to go in for she's it. Kim so stuck up close. It's going to get absolutely ruined. Mimi's backing right up Zaz. And this should be domination in a lot of these duels. Sure, Mimi falls. A quick shot by Cinnamon, even stunned up. She can still gun up. The time is just a little bit too low to clear out this many players, especially with Glance on 10 HP, and then shortly after, the entire team will fall. G2 have reclaimed the lead now. This is getting very scarce in victims here. Mimi being held on the way through. She'll get caught. Nice aggressive stance out of Smurfette again. The fact that she has that dash gives her so much freedom to back out of those fights, and she's staying aggressive, actually. Set on top of the switch, looking for players coming into market, and so is Cinnamon. It's already found the first, and although she's blind, she wow. still wins the fight. Of course she does. Now a 5v2. And it's looking like Guild will close this half out even. The freedom that Smurfette and Cinnamon have been having this round. And Kim just finding this one on shore. Also the spike going down. Yeah. This should be around. This is a 6-6 to Guild on the swap. And the fact I was saying. the fact We have already uh, gotten rid of that pause. Ready to jump back in. Guild are fired up and ready to fight on mid as well. Where Cinnamon has dropped Giuliano. And now she'll have a little bit of extra shields to work with. This is probably reading into what Julie, they expected from Juliana to do on this round. She's been keen to really take control of it mid on the attack, so why, did, why wouldn't she try to do the same on defense? Now Silly was in a little bit of trouble. Petra's down. Uh, they're losing a lot of players on this aggressive defense, G2. Look at where they've lost players. Pushed down on mid, pushed in B main. Of course, once you lose that oh first my. fight, you're going to be in a vacuum of information trying to fight your way back in. And well, Silly does well. Uh, just the one. Uh, pretty clean round altogether from Guilt. Every kill that is found by G2 is traded. 
that's all you really want to see. I think it's not the correct response when you're playing with pistols to just go on the individual duels um, and just gathering up the space instead of just grouping up. And it's not even playing for retake, it's playing close together. So you know that the refrag is always an opportunity, something that Gil had on their hands and it's probably going to give them this first round. I don't know how we're doing on two pistols, but the, yesterday, as I told you, Gil got three out of uh, four. So I'm not surprised by this. Like, she's you not in this run. position, right? They see that recon and think, all right, no one is in mid right now. That gives Juliano the opportunity to potentially come on this backstab. She is going to wait for the lockdown, though, to come into completion. And so this will be a, a retake situation. And I think ultimately that flank not going to play that big of a role now that, it, that it's very obviously a B hit. Yeah, the spike just went down. She does have a good timing, though. Oh, never mind. Yeah. It was already into place, and that turret is going to even keep punishing her. Ooh. Oh, Roxy! Just got both of them. I mean, Juliana waited for Silly to come to help out, but Roxy's a little bit too clean with that Vandal. And up close. Okay, Glance is down. Wall behind her gives Mimi a little bit of time to fight their way to the site. And after one for Zaz, still two players standing, one HP, the clutch, the dream. She's only got one bullet in the Vandal as well. It couldn't have gotten much worse. Eventually, we will see Cinnamon players to take on down. And there is one on offer, Cinnamon. Oh, the players are crossing over. There's the knives coming their way, but Giuliano does end up getting dropped. Now they move towards the site. Zaz holding, waiting with a flash in hand, but doesn't blind up Cinnamon. And Silly pushed up on eight. Again, classic in hand, not, not likely to do all too much. Petra probably doesn't want to save here. You are probably playing for damage, but... Oh, God, it just gets so much worse. Oh! It's not oh! Gonna get oh! Ah! How has she done that with a classic? It's now Petra a 1v2. Screw the damage. You're going to win the round if you can find these kills. Petra is a good chance. Has been spotted, though, and that will be the, the end of the round. And considering what they walked in with, I am gobsmacked that they did that with them on the floor. This is, this is tragic. I'll keep my, my feet in the air for the rest of the game. 11 to 7. Kill. Oh, God. They've already got a kill with the Hunter's Fury. I saw the tag. I didn't think the follow-up would be there as well. The res is going to have to be burned up in the very early round. And the 5v5 continues, but it's a plan for guild and a passive play. Now, they don't have anything to really deny this in terms of ultimates. And their pack is being closed in on a good connection by Giuliano, but she cannot finish Roxy off. Cosmic Divide down. Rolling Thunder used on the site to isolate these players, but Cinnamon steps it up right when they need her. That is gorgeous, and sure, she'll be tagged. She'll even maybe be killed. But no, Petra gets dropped in the middle of her Hunter's Fury. This is a nice round out of guild to put 12 on the board. Cinnamon is just reckless. Like, what she's doing, she's just going in for the for the duel every match single time. Point. She doesn't really care, and this is match point for guild. It looks like they're really going to save. Thankfully, you know, we don't want a three-map grand final, but G2 certainly do. Nah. I forced this up. They've gone for their double guardians on Mimi and Petra, of course, with it being potentially the last round. You want to buy, but might not be happy with the results oh here as that God. wall gets broken. Mimi's in a lot of danger. 50 HP. She will be able to heal up to close to 100. Her heal got delayed a little bit. The dash in's dangerous. They're looking for Mimi. They're finding her. Oh, they're finding absolutely everything. G2 are locked out already. And this is not really uh, G2 putting up a fight because even all that utility is going to be crushed by Guild main making the call of, okay, map point, we're literally going to rush in. We're going to use everything. We see a wall, we break it. We just go in, spike us down, and this is probably going to be it. Uh, most likely is with Giuliano falling, it's looking increasingly likely and silly. Falls at the hands of Smurfette. Fantastic map.